what I like to do every 12 weeks is something called the 12 week year. There's a great book by a guy called Brian Moran who basically talks about giving yourself focus and creating a template to do all your goals that you haven't for a year in 12 weeks. So the way you do that is take the goals that you want to achieve this year and you're going to want to work backwards from them. So if you're revenue, for example, if you're at 30,000 a month in revenue and you want to be at 60,000 a month, you would take that extra 30,000 a month that you need and find out how many new recurring customers you need, find out the average booking price that you're going to need, and then find out how week by week you could get enough customers each week to meet that goal. Instead of at the end of the year though, at the end of 12 weeks. So a 12 week year is a really powerful thing I like to do at ThinkMades because it focuses everyone on our team. We suddenly realize to meet our goals, we have to be focused every week instead of just every month. So it condenses and gives you a timeline. Tim Ferriss talks about the Pareto principle where a work fills with the time you have available. And so you want to cut down the time you have available to increase the pace that you're doing your work at, increase the focus. And it may sound a little bit overwhelming, but you'll actually find that it's invigorating to do this much work instead of overwhelming because you're so focused. A lot of that overwhelm from working too much comes because you don't have focus, not because you're necessarily doing so much. So I wanna walk you through quickly how to develop a 12 week year so that you can start to do this. When you start your 12 week year, like I do, what you do is you come up with just three goals that you really wanna accomplish. For us, it's adding an extra 30 to $40,000 a month in revenue. It's cutting down time that I need in the business even further. Those are two big goals that we have. When you have the goals, set out a section for each of the goals separately and write down a list of strategies that you can use to get to them. So for us, if we're adding extra revenue, some of the strategies we may be using is increasing our ROI from the best paid platforms that we're using for our marketing. It's increasing the average booking price of each booking through upsells. It's increasing our customer retention rate and reducing our churn rate. And we're gonna, we would build out and set out strategies for each of those things in order to reach that goal. When you've set out the strategies, that's just step two. Step three is to create a list of tasks that you can do every day and every week in order to make use of those strategies to meet that goal on time. The last step you're going to want to do once you've created those tasks, very specific tasks, like book two extra customers a day and then write how you're going to book those extra two customers a day, or have six appointments and close two of those appointments. Write out very specific tasks. Once you've done that, you're going to want to set a due date for each of the 12 weeks. So by week one, close this many people in new business using these strategies. By week two, close this many people using these strategies. Do that for each week so you have a clear due date that you can go through with yourself and with your team to make sure you guys are on track. He doesn't talk about this, but because you have a team and you're not a solo entrepreneur, what I like to do is a weekly check-in at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week, just for five or 10 minutes to make sure that you're on track with those goals. So you talk with your managers, you talk with your cleaners and see what the average booking price was. You see if you're on track to meet your goals. And if not, how can you get back on track? So that's really the bare bones of how to do a 12 week year. The big parts of it are holding yourself accountable and extreme clarity. You're writing it out so detailed, each goal, how you're gonna get there, that it's very hard to fail to get there when you actually do those actions. So if you're a little unsure if something is specific enough, you can ask me or Amar and we'll tell you if a task is specific enough for your 12 week year. And the last thing I'd recommend is don't get discouraged doing this. Let it fill you with energy instead because you're gonna be accomplishing so much, it's gonna shock you a little bit how quickly you start to accomplish your goals. And you're gonna wonder why, how you were so unfocused before and realize that you can do a lot more in less time than you think you can. <laughs>